Hello and welcome to the update. I'm Talisa Ryder. A third person has died from the methanol poisoning incident in Laos. An American citizen is the latest to succumb to the toxic alcohol after joining a group of fellow travellers for cocktails at a backpacker hostel. Two young Danish women have also died. 19-year-old Aussies Holly Bowles and Bianca Jones are still on life support in Thailand. Tech companies claim proposed social media age restrictions could cause more harm than good. The federal gov has introduced laws into parliament which would ban children under 16 from platforms like Instagram, Snapchat and TikTok. Digi Managing Director Sunita Bose claims the policy is flawed. Neither youth experts nor the community have been consulted on the legislation and we really need to hear from them through some sort of public consultation. Mainstream digital platforms have strict measures in place to keep young people safe and a ban could push young people into darker, less safe online spaces. More than 1,500 workers at Woolworths distribution centres have walked off the job over in New South Wales and Victoria as part of a pay campaign. Tim Kennedy from the United Workers' Union says they also want high-risk work conditions to be scrapped. What the workers are calling for is that they want Woolworths to permanently scrap their performance framework because it's basically unsafe for workers and we want fair pay. A Perth couple has been found guilty of starving their daughter to near death. The pair, both aged 47, were accused of deliberately stunting the growth of their 17-year-old daughter so she could become a ballet dancer. The girl weighed just over 27 kilos when she was eventually taken to see a doctor in 2021. The parents will be sentenced at a later date. And fruit and veggies wrapped in plastic are being sold cheaper than loose produce at major supermarkets 73% of the time. A new report has ranked Woolworths the worst offender, followed by IGA's owners Met. Cash in second and Coles in third. Sport and entertainment are next. In sport, the AFL draft continues in Melbourne tonight. Sam Lawler was taken by Richmond with the prize number one pick and says he'd love to wear Dustin Martin's number at the Tigers. And Australia and Indian players will train in Perth today ahead of the first test of the summer, which gets underway tomorrow. In entertainment news, mourners have gathered to farewell Liam Payne at a funeral service in the UK. The One Direction singer died over a month ago after falling from a hotel balcony in Argentina. Former bandmates Harry, Niall, Lewis and Zane among those to attend the prize private church service. Troy Sivan has claimed the biggest awards at this year's Arias, taking out the Album of the Year, Best Solo Artist and Best Pop Release, while Missy Higgins was inducted into the Aria Hall of Fame. And Ellen DeGeneres and her Aussie wife Portia de Rossi are the latest celebrities to skip town after Donald Trump's election win. The 66-year-old talk host has reportedly already moved to England, saying the couple has no plans to return to the US, even putting their Montecito mansion on the market. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast Newsroom. We'll have another episode of The Update for you later on.